Yep, she's empty. You know what that means. We'll get these guys temperature acclimated and then we'll get our drip and our dip on. Really not too sure how I didn't get any footage of these acros in the tank. I guess it was a busier month than most. But here we are you guys looking at pictures. My bad. Now the plan was to leave the quarantine tank alone and let it ride out for six weeks. But I saw the colours on these acros and I could not go home without them. So stupidly, I packed them into my quarantine tank where they thrive for the next five weeks. We found a shrimp, my dog got a haircut, found a dead crab, and said shrimp was eaten by one of my acans. Lots happened, but then this. So this is what I came home to yesterday. I've tried several things to get rid of it. I put the skooma in there. I have added water from the other tank. I was tempted to add some live rock to see if it was anything to do with bacteria, but I'm really not too sure and I'm stumped. Now the acros have started to peel overnight, not even within the last few hours. So we have some freshly mixed up water here. I've checked the alkalinity and it's practically spot on the temperature is within a couple of points so it should be fine let's get these corals across yep she's empty getting the second of the corals across uh, it's not looking good now I'm not sure if it's a contributing factor but this piece here smells like absolute asshole like literally oh. so I think there's some crap dying in here and that piece so we're gonna chop them up what the f is that what the f there is so much crap found in this piece I'm gonna start chopping but what the hell is that freaky that's what it is Ugh. Yummy. Check this crap out. It's insane. Ah, oh, what a fun day this has been. All the acros are stripped or halfway stripped at least. Got all the coral in here, some more stuff tripping to get it back into another clean system because believe it or not, that was clean water this morning so obviously something's happening I don't know what, but it's killing the acros good times oh my god that's devastating just from yeah I don't even really know what to say <laughs> oh, I've already cut up two colonies and a lot of them a bit are melting away that guy touch wood hopefully he's alright but this guy I've still got a frag up he is <sighs> Starting to melt away at the bottom there. Good times.
Over the next 12 hours, I sat there watching my acros just melt away. $500 worth. Felt pretty helpless. I started this hobby to help, and yet I just killed a tank full of life. I was devastated. So I got all the corals back into the tank last night, or should I say 4.30 this morning, with a new batch of water, and they've done this again. So round two of putting them into a, some fresh water. I think we can genuinely call this a tank crash now. The bow banky has crapped itself. Acans, torches, not looking good. Brain's got all brown stuff all over him. Ah, fun times. And that's our last acro. The whole tank was gone. I considered giving up, selling everything and moving on. But thankfully, I have a very supportive partner and a beautiful dog that both really help keep me positive. The gold torch and the maze brain did eventually come good, although it took several weeks to do so. Their presence serves as a grim reminder to not take anything for granted. Don't.